the big wigs of the big competition uh, with me today. First of all, right over here on my left is Dubs. And Dubs, you are the creator and founder of this competition today, right? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, this is our third year. Uh, we're working with the Anaheim Ducks this year. Very nice, very nice. And of course, you got some of your friends in on this too, right? So you couldn't do this alone. Yep. You got people that you work with. And uh, over here, one of your good friends is one of the judges, right? Yeah, this is a this is a force to be reckoned with right here. This, this is this that, that is a beard to be reckoned with is what that is. Not with a beard, is it? Uh, it's sideburns. It's sideburns. Wow, my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chops. If you didn't know, this is Chop. All right. Next to uh, uh, Chops is Dan. The donkey. I wasn't supposed to say that. That is his nickname. I think it's a good nickname. Why are you not proud of that nickname, Dan? Oh, well, I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, now, the fashion that goes along with this, the fashion is another big part of this whole thing, right? Yeah, now. yeah. We all have different styles. I mean, it's an eclectic uh, mesh of eccentric people, I guess. Yeah, I'm going through an 80s hip-hop moment. Uh, I like my dapper look, but then I like to mix it up with uh, something that kind of clashes with it. But yeah, it stays classy, so here I am. So now you're a judge, and you are a force to be reckoned with for more reasons than just your chops, right? Right. Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've competed in over 35 uh, competitions. I have uh, several titles from each of them, so yeah, I do well. I haven't really gone internationally yet, but this guy takes it all around the world. Man, I've been to Germany, I've been to Austria, you know. Is it, do they take it up a notch over there? They really are serious about it, aren't they? Man, those Germans, they don't mess around, dude. They're, they're serious. So uh, the donkey went to Austria. How the donkey, the donkey dominated? How did you do in Austria? First place, baby. Wow! My second time, yeah, second world champion, first place freestyle mustache, and four time national. The guy's just sweeping it all up. It's like, dude, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right. <laughs> That's why he's got the classy look. Nice. Look. Are you a judge today too? I'm a judge. I'm a judge every day. How many uh, how many events have you judged before? I've judged a few. This is probably my third or fourth. Year. Yeah, fourth. Okay, so you got the idea, you got the neck down, right? Oh, you take it seriously, right? You have to. You have to be so serious, dead serious. No smile. This is not fun. It's not. I mean, it's fun for everyone else, but yeah. Yeah, it's serious business. Because people are relying on the blood. That's what happens. I love what you've done. You keep growing this out year after year, right? Absolutely, yeah. This is our third year. It's only getting bigger, better, and better, baby. Uh, excuse me, you got you got a little uh, something right in your uh, right. You got a little. Never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I am with none other than two-time Orange County natural beard champion, Big John. He didn't want to say that. He didn't want me to say that because he thought we were going to jinx it, but we are with a champion. Yes, you are. Big John Mahoney in the flesh. Flesh. And in the hair, too. That's right, yes. <laughs> now, this sculptor is amazing. And uh, where does this go tonight? Who wins this? Tonight is also the Movember Hockey Tournament. So this is the championship trophy for that. And uh, we're gonna put a plaque on the bottom and all the different teams that win are gonna be able to have their picture taken in, in front of it. And it's something that's gonna stay here for years to come. Hopefully next year we do it again. And of course, you had the honor of actually carving this. You hand carved this well, with a chainsaw you start off and then you uh, got all the intricate detail pieces. This is actually 100% chainsaw. Uh, did not add any, no other tools, except for the torch, chainsaw, and a couple brushes. That's amazing, and this is made out of? Ash, locally grown within 50 miles of here. I'm not quite sure where it was grown, but the base is a, a redwood from Griffith Park, so that's pretty cool too. All right, and so you got connected with these guys because you've been in every single one of these beer competitions in Orange County, right? That's correct, yeah. Last year I told them, let's make some trophies for next year, and now we're here now, so I made this one for the, for the Ducks, and then I also made each individual trophy for each category for this year's competition. And whoever gets best in show, I will be carving a statue of their beard right after the competition. Live on the scene, you'll be carved. You got it. Gasoline, baby. Woohoo! Big John comes from a tree family. They're actually, you'd have called themselves your tree people, right? That's right, yes. Everyone in my family besides me is an arborist. I'm an artiste barista, you know. Ooh. 
Adi da. Fancy. <laughs> The tree trimming family guys cut trees yeah, down. Been in business for 45 years. My dad is a, was the president of the International Society of Arboriculture. My sister works for the International Society of Arboriculture. So you really are tree people then? We are 100% tree people through and through. You, go. you need a good tree trimming, ladies and gentlemen. West Coast Arbors is your go to place. <laughs> That's right. All right, everyone. We'll be right back with more.